This is a unique recent find. This is a Hoover Constellation. Now, um, this vacuum cleaner, most people who don't know about these would think that this looks like a fine saucer. Well, it's not that surprising to imagine because this vacuum cleaner, even though this vacuum cleaner was made in 2007, it is actually based on a vacuum cleaner Hoover made many, many years ago, starting in the mid-1950s, that was essentially um, this vacuum cleaner, um, also called the Hoover Constellation. Only difference is where it used a different motor. Um, this one uh, is made in China. The original Constellations were made in the United States. And um, this vacuum cleaner is a plastic base, the original Constellation was entirely metal. Although, um, the top of this vacuum cleaner is still metal, and that's still an impressive thing to see on a more modern vacuum cleaner, because that is generally pretty rare these days. I'm at, away at college, but I saw this on Craigslist back at home, and the price was right, so I had my mom go get it for me, which normally I don't usually like to do, but this vacuum cleaner, these ones are so hard to come by because they did not sell very well um, for reasons that I will later detail. Um, I had to get this thing. Even though it is missing the um, turbo power nozzle, I have to find that. And it does have somewhere, you can see there's a little nick right here. And the wand is actually broken. It just goes up and down and it doesn't lock in place anymore. So when I want to use this thing, I have to use the ones for my Electrolux instead. Um, it doesn't have any of the other attachments besides this very dirty floor brush that I've yet to clean up. It was still worth it because you just don't come across these things very often. Surprisingly, you'd think that the newer models would be more common than the older models, and the opposite is true. The newer models are actually harder to find than the older ones, because the newer ones did not sell nearly as well as the old ones. Anyway, when I got it, the owners were using an S-Bag, which is the, the style S-Bag is the actual style bag of this vacuum cleaner seat. However, they were using a generic one layer paper S bag. Um, so the S bag is not unique to this vacuum cleaner. The S bag Hoover started um, using in their um, canister vacuum cleaners in the 1990s, um, such as with um, the runabout canisters um, uh, and several other canisters of um, the mid-late 90s and when they came out with this vacuum cleaner in the late 2000s they came out with a new S bag that was a HEPA built cloth style bag that looks more like this. The only problem is, is that um, it was pretty much designed for this vacuum so they are limited in quantity they are available, but they are very, very expensive to buy. Um, I think the cheapest deal I could get for a pack of three HEPA bags was still costing me three or four dollars a bag, and I was absolutely not willing to do that. So what I did was I took the, this is the collar from the generic S bag, paper bag that was in the machine. And when I opened this up for the first time, there was, crap all over this filter and all over this this piece and then this part of the vacuum because those one layer paper bags are just so poor I filter to find dust. So anyway, ripped the collar off the paper bag. Then I bought a bulk um, set of Hoover Y HEPA bags that are meant for wind tunnel models and I pulled the collar off of that and I glued the old collar onto this bag. Now, as you can see, this bag is a little bit big for this vacuum, but that's okay. You can easily tuck it in. The nice thing about HEPA bags is that not only do they filter better, they ex they have more breathing room, so um, you can literally fill them up until they're almost completely full, and they lose virtually no airflow. Um, 
which is just not the case in paper, with paperbacks. Um, yes, they are more expensive, but if you buy them in bulk, they're really actually not that expensive at all. So anyway, that's the Constellation. And the reason why my theory behind them not selling very well is basically this. One thing, it's a bagged vacuum. Bagged vacuums just don't sell at least very well these days. But the main reason why I think this vacuum doesn't sell well is because of a major design flaw that this vacuum has. And it's not unique to just this modern constellation. It was a problem with the old constellations, along with the uh, lower end celebrity canisters who were sold that also floated on this exhaust. You can see this is where the exhaust vents out, and you see there are no wheels. So essentially, that exhaust vent creates cushion of air and then the vacuum glides across the carpeting. Of course this is only when the machine is on. So um, you basic if when it's off you basically either have to drag it across the floor, scratching your floor, scratching the base of the vacuum, or carry it. Anyway, the reason why this design was flawed is because if you think about it, if you're vacuuming a dirty floor or dirty carpet, think of the exhaust air that's shooting out and it's blowing the dust, virtually it's blowing the dust off the floor into the air and what is the point of having a HEPA bag and creating good filtration if you're just blowing uh, dust the vacuum hasn't picked up yet back up into the air. So um, that's the main issue with the, this vacuum and all the other vacuums who were made that floated on, on their exhausts is that um, it kicked up um, extra loose dust um, laying on the floor because of the fact that the exhaust air is blowing right from the bottom of the vacuum. So that's my theory behind um, these not selling very well at all. They did not sell them very well. Um, not only did they not sell well, but they also did not sell them long. Um, they only sold these for at most two years before they were pulled off the market. In a way it was a shame because it was it is a very unique vacuum cleaner, a very cool looking vacuum cleaner very well made looking vacuum uh well made vacuum cleaner but um it's just it's really style over substance i guess you can say this vacuum does have very good airflow and very good suction um not just because of the motor but because of the fact that i'm using very efficient hepa bags in it um so i will click quickly run this machine for you so you can hear how it runs I don't think the motor in this vacuum sounds as pleasant as the older Constellation motors because um, it uses this uses a fairly cheap Chinese motor. Um, the uh, older Constellations used a much more pleasant sounding motor, but that is to be expected for a more modern vacuum cleaner. So now I'll run the Constellation. It does not float very well on this carpeting, um, but we'll. I'll try to make it float around anyway. Let's try to make it float. I'm just kind of kicking it around to see if it's true. pretty well right now, but not as well as if it was on the hardwoods, but you get the picture, I think. The airflow is very good through this vacuum cleaner. Not as strong as an Electra, but I would say probably a decent 70 or so CFM. So, um, that is the Constellation. Um, very happy to have this vacuum cleaner in my collection as they are kind of uh, slowly becoming more obsolete. So, hope you enjoy the video.